Oh, my name is David Sakok, and currently living in Ottawa. This is me and my mother, Kahok. It's in Anada Lake. About 49, government of the day decided to put up buildings for a radio signal station. They were asked to leave from their tents and the heavy equipment operator was given signal to bulldoze all our tents and belongings and were told to go to the airplane to take them down to Knowlton Lake. A few people died of uh, probably starvation. It took them three months to walk back to Anada Lake to their rightful place. To outside eyes, we might look primitive, but we feel confident in our own way of life. What we don't know is officials of the day were planning to move us again. There were some tents, and in each tent, a little box of uh, dry goods to keep us alive for a week or two. And that was it. This is the hardest time harder than the first move. A whale, a polar bear, all these were new to us. So it was like a foreign country. I always feel that I should do something about why the hell mute were mistreated so much. For a long time, it was a dead file. Then in the last five years or so, we start to see government people face to face and trust was building. It was good, sweet ending. It just took so long and many people died. But I was very glad our last elder was here to witness it. <laughs> We will forgive and move on. <laughs>